Jesus. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> Hey guys, you're watching Daniel G on React, and today we're going to be checking out a fight scene from Gajini, starring Amir Khan. For those of you who don't know, you probably already do, but this is a remake. I'm, we're talking too much, let's just get into it. Right off the bat, I like the tight fade. I mean, it just evokes so much masculinity, right? Yeah. See how long it's gonna take for him to walk across this alley or wherever he's at. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> seen that before <laughs> <laughs> oh I like how she walks over the the body with the guy's head who got twisted around. So random. That was weird. <laughs> I like how he's walking like T the T one thousand. Oh, that I know the fucking the Terminator <laughs> two walk. Yeah, no arms moving whatsoever. That's a big guy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> death by death via three stooges. You know what would have been cool is if it had started playing like musical notes. <laughs> <laughs> like a xylophone. Like a xylophone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we should edit it. we should edit that as a clip. <laughs> Add in the sound effects ourselves. Ooh, that spin move. <laughs> Had to generate momentum. <laughs> yeah, bro. We're gonna get hated on in the comments because the title says this is the climax fight, and we're just <laughs> being us. Where'd that black guy come out of? <laughs> I don't know, but he got wrecked real quick. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> did he just snarl? He did. <laughs> he did. He's, he's an animal, bro.
Gotta love headbutts. Imagine if they were in UFC. Back when headbutts were legal. Yeah. I'm staying now today. There'd be so <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, Mark Coleman, that was his move. They're underrated, dude. Your head's strong as shit. I like how he runs now. <laughs> How's this girl keeping up? Seems to be pretty far behind. I know. <laughs> But she's st that's what I'm saying. How does she keep it up? How does she know she's like at? She's like Jason, bro. Because <laughs> he stopped leaving a carnage full of dead bodies a while ago. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Here's some more. You would think if he wanted to kill him this bad, he would just shoot him. And he had to beat up the old man. <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> that was like almost Brock Lesnar's F5. Yep. <laughs> Was it? That was the end of the scene. We don't even get to see the resolution. I guess we'll have to watch the full movie to, to I see guess the rest. We will. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you think? Uh, you know, I, I'd be curious to see the story because out of context, it, it all of these fight scenes pretty much almost always seem over the top, and they are in the moment. But then all of a sudden, when you have the story behind them, they have the context behind them. You have two and a half hours worth of storytelling. Hopefully, this scene is more impactful than just like over the top action you know you also you also get used to if it's consistent you get used to it yeah to a certain extent you know so then it's like every it's fight scene has been super over the top so you're like you're okay with it by the time you get to the final battle 100 percent. they've established wow. the tone and the rhythm sometimes the end action scenes are just that they have no they are just action scenes for the sake of being over the top and it's the last one so it has to be the best one and it's just right but with no story like they lose story and stuff that's what's really unfortunate about about these things but what do you think of the fight choreography we don't really talk about that too often but what do you think of that you had the head punch where the guy gets twisted around which is awesome that's a great that way was... to start the entire action sequence now Perfect it was fine it, it was it was fine you know i wouldn't say it was was it the best but he looked i believed him shaving his head like that having the scars having that look on his face you know we, we've never seen amir khan really try to beat the crap out of people in any of the movies we've watched if you would have him. seen this same scene but with salman with the shaved head and a scar would it have worked no because salman just looks fake as shit when he does his stuff <laughs> unless he's trying to be Chubble Pondi, that's it. <laughs> it, it. And it's yeah, pretty much like every everyone. Chubble and he has Pondi to start breaking one. breaking into song and dance like right in the middle yeah, of the scene. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, in this one, uh, you know, if the guy flew five feet, you know, with, with Salman, it would have been fifteen feet. You know, right? <laughs> and through twelve walls. And and through twelve walls, and just like you know, up seven clear panes of glass, and a, I and mean, a this... truck full of watermelons for that one person to fly through. To they just happen to be there, yeah. Like that scene in Wayne's World 2. That's one of my favorite scenes. The planes of glass and all that stuff. Yeah, and they're just stuff. walking back and forth across <laughs> the street. And then when it crashes, our job here is done, gentlemen. Time to go home. <laughs> it, it be like that sometimes. There were still some Looney Tune moments in this. The guys running behind the wall and then they get punched, you know, and then all of a sudden they fly back. It's like maybe not Looney Tunes, but like definitely Three Stooges style. Yeah. Well, him um, scraping the guy's face on the on those bars. Yeah, exactly. You know, which is not like, like super not practical, I would assume. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been in a fight like that before. So maybe that is the move. But hey, I maybe was... that's one of the videos we do. We test and see how much it hurts to get your face rubbed <laughs> against a bunch of bars. 
<laughs> not it. One, two, three, not it. <laughs> <laughs> I am curious to see the film though, just because yeah. Amir Khan attached himself to it. So right. let us know in the comment section, guys. If, it, if I mean, we have a copy of this film. I have it here at my house. We can definitely review it after we do Khaki. And if you like this video, make sure to check out the videos you see up on the screen. And that'll do it for us today, folks. Thanks for watching. You know, smash that like button, subscribe, and not subscribe to the bell. Are